Andre Galval, 2-0, and the 26-year-old who won the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championship in 2008. He trains Vanderlei Silva in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Wow. And he's become, boss, that uh, kind of buzzword fighter out there. They're talking about Galval. Obviously, he knows about jiu-jitsu. He knows how to coach others, even great fighters in jiu-jitsu. Only his third pro fight, but a lot of interest about how he is going to do, not just here, but throughout this tournament. Yeah, you know, with those guys, the only thing is they need to get it on the ground. Once it's on the ground, it's all them. Uh, you know, and <laughs> if he wants it on the ground, Probably get a gun on the ground. Galvao didn't begin his pro career until August of last year. We look at the tail of the tape. It's pretty much the same. Unless has got to really use his reach here. He's probably got a little bit of a reach advantage, as you can see you know, how tall he is. But uh, does it also is the same with his reach in his arms? We don't know. But most of the time, yes, that will be the case. Yep, Dalvao needs it on the ground, Alessio needs it on his feet. That's the whole game plan of this year. Like I said, Alessio, I said the striking is off the chart training with Sifu. That's of course, you know, if you absorb all those striking skills. You know, it doesn't mean that he is going to be a phenomenal striker, but just training with Sifu. But I heard he's been training a lot, that's what I said. So the welterweight tournament getting underway. John Alessio, Andre Galval. A matchup of what we believe will be contrasting styles. Although Alessio has won nine times by way of submission in his 24 career victories. That's, that's, that's. And Galval, with that great Brazilian jiu-jitsu background, it's pretty obvious what he wants to do. Tournament is underway. Nice double jab and a right straight. You see the bunching power of Alessio, the finesse that he has as well in his boxing game. Yeah, you know, and he's been training pretty much his whole life with Sean Tompkins, so we know he can strike. You know? And then I said to, you know, to, to, to top everything off, training with Ray Seifu. <laughs> Seifu. <laughs> Seifu is a kung fu person. A Seifu. That's why I said it. We were seeing Ray it's in action fun. over there yeah. in the K-1 competition uh, back in the winter as well. Yeah. And he's really good. We, we saw him also fight the K-1 in, in, uh, in America. But you see Alessio stays just outside his reach, uses long punches to keep his opponent away. Doesn't want to let him come close because he, do not, he does not want to go to the ground. Again with the jab, Alessio. Yeah, like you said, you know, he, even though he, he has some submission victories, if you go to the ground with a world champion, you know, that's it's something different. The level is just different. <laughs> Alessio was anticipating. The takedown attempt by Galval. This is a beautiful fight right now. It yeah. Really, with the, just watching him move around, it's pretty clear. Alessio's hoping to get a jab or two in there to open things up, and Galvao is just waiting for that one takedown moment. Yeah, and, and you still, still saw that when, when Alessio made his right kick, Galvao right away answered with the right straight, so 
It means that he also has to watch out for his punches. Galval shoots in. Alessio is ready for it again. Get up, move away. <laughs> well, he's got to pull the leg out first, of course. But if you can. Galval has that right leg wrapped up. You can see it there. You see the black toenail polish of Alessio, who likes to paint his toes before every fight. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of fighters doing that. I have no clue why. Alessio back up along the ropes. Galval still locked in. Holding on tight. This is a good thing what he's doing now, kneeing the thigh. See, it's so effective. <coughs> and another knee to Alessio. It will take its toll. It will take its toll. Oh, ho, ho, ho. those are going to hurt. And again. And oh. one more. At least a handful delivered right on the button. Ah, on the butt. And the butt as well. I mean, it's hitting right there in the butt and thigh area, and you know that's already hurting. Alessio grabbing the rope right there. The official quickly up. Yeah, those toenails. I, was it Chuck Liddell who started with that? I think it was Chuck. Okay. And Galval gets it right back to the ground. That was almost like a slow motion chase there, wasn't it? As Alessio yeah. would inch forward, and Galval was holding on. This is a, now is in control. Yeah, bad position. Bad position for John Alessio to be in. Uh oh, he's going to trap an arm there. Nope, he tries it again. Alessio too quick that time with the right arm. Take your weapon away. And of course, also a defending weapon. Oh, body triangle. That's going to press some air out of the lungs of John Alessio. It's going to make it also way harder for him to breathe. Andre Galvao. Wow. Oh, those are good. Those are hammers. I mean, those hammers are driving in. You can hear it. It's they're effective. We see some guys that throw some hammer punches like that, but wow, there's some power. That's yes. about as powerful as I've seen, boss. How about you? Listen to this. I bet you ain't trained for this. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's more effective than a bunch of uh, crisp jabs right there. Yeah. Look at this. It just continues. Yeah, well, why stop when it works? It just continues to work. Galval will continue to okay, okay. Oh, man. slam away at Alessio. John Alessio in a lot of trouble right now. Galval's got a... He's got... Look how tight he's got him locked in. That's it. It's that body triangle. You can't roll into him anymore, you notice. It's pretty much no escape. And there he goes again. And he makes those punches effective. Gonna look for an armbar now. Yeah, he's gonna let it go. Might, might, if he catches the head, see? There's the armbar. Wow. Wouldn't this be something? No, he's got it locked up. As long as he keeps holding to his biceps, that's and throwing knee. those knees. That was a slamming knee to the side of the head of Galval. He's got to see and try to lift him up so Galval will let him go and then get back on your feet. Although he's got a good defense here, you know. I'm saying it again, you're still finding an, a world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu expert. He might slip that arm out and he's, you know, he's going to get arm barred. He's got to watch out. Yeah. 
While he's doing all this, I hope see. Oh, now That's the arm bar I mean. is coming against oh. Lesio. It's over. Gaval gets it. Yep. Ah, I felt the pain. One wrong move, and Gaval just sunk it in. That's what I say. You got it. Make sure first your defense is down 100. percent Then you can start raiding knees. You never want to give this guy an inch. And you saw Alessio slam the canvas in disgust as he knew what he had done. Yep. Gave that opening just a slither to Andre Gaval, and he was all over it to advance on in the welterweight tournament, running his pro record to 3-0. and Well, uh... And one more look, and that's it. I mean, that was it. As soon as he turned around, Alessio was tapping. Yep, he let it go. Yeah, and this is all them. Ah. And Andre Gaval, well, he has lived up to the billing. This just his third professional fight. And what a performance he turned in. Yeah, it's like I said, you know, once they get it on the ground, it's a... It's, uh, Almost a sure win. And Gaval now will address the crowd. Okay. Ah, uh, eu tô muito feliz de estar aqui no Japão. Lutei com um adversário muito duro, muito experiente, muito bom. É, espero que vocês tenham gostado da minha luta. E a partir de agora Eu, eu marco o meu estilo de luta aqui no Japão, mostrando a partir daqui e ao mundo inteiro que eu vou fazer história no MMA, se Deus quiser, junto com o meu senhor. Muito obrigado. Well, according to our interpreter, Hans, uh... Galval has said he's very happy to fight in Japan. Alessio was a good, tough, and experienced opponent. He hopes the crowd enjoyed it, and he gives thanks to God, and he looks forward to fighting again. So you said it way faster than he said it. <laughs> we, we give you the cliff notes on these interpretations. I think he might have said a few things more, but uh, there he did it talking. That summed it up. Yep, tries to skip, step over. Not wrong move. Ow, wow, wow, wee, wee. And look at the end of this, too. I mean, as soon as he taps, about the next motion just after they release his look at him, he slams the canvas. Alessio knew. Yep. He, he knew, knew he gave him the open that he shouldn't have. And you take a look. And a man now who I think might move into uh, one of the favorite roles in this welterweight tournament, Andre Galval, who goes 3-0, and and he becomes the first to advance on in the welterweight tournament. Three more fights to go. Let's say all the fighters that take a look at uh, Galval will be hoping they're not the next guy to have to go in and tangle with him. Yeah, but, you know, it'll, uh, this fight put him on the map. Let me tell you that. That's with the Brazilian fighters. They always support the Brazilian flag. You never always. see that with the Dutch guys. Uh, with many countries, it's actually. The same in America. Many, yeah. But always the Brazilian fighter. Yep. Interesting about Galval, he just turned pro back in August. Yeah, that's crazy. He just decided he thought he would. He's already a world champion in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He's only had three pro fights since August, and here he's already made quite a name for himself in this welterweight Grand Prix opening round. Yep.